Good morning. Welcome back. So I just need to throw on some eyeshadow and get out the door. I'm running late. Of course, I'm always running late. Um, I did start a new job. I am working full time now and mornings are hard. So um, I'm going to go back in with this palette right here. It's my new favorite and so I'm going to be playing with it a lot. Um, but just to get my um, makeup done and get me out the door right now, I need to get, um, I just need to throw on some eyeshadow and get going. So I'm taking the light, lightest shade in this palette and I'm just um, running that all over, setting that eye primer, just making it a little bit easier on myself to get the eyeshadows um, blended. That is the purpose for that. I have a mess going on in front of me, so I'm going to try to clean this up really quick. Um, I don't really have time to, I'll just show you the palette. This is the palette, um, and I'm just gonna dive in and just throw on some colors. So I'm gonna pick up the shade Maverick, which is a kind of like a chocolate brown. And we're gonna pop that in our crease. And you should not be surprised. <laughs> I almost always start with a brown in my crease. Not really sure why that is, but Pinks, purples, and browns, they're my jam. It's a good transition shade, it's a good starter shade, and let's see if we can't make this so it's not patchy. Um, if you hear the traffic out, if you hear the traffic outside, I am sorry. I live between three schools. The kids are um, headed to school and the parents drive. A lot of parents drive their kids to school around here. Now I'm going in with the purple shade called Chick. And I'm going to bring that just below the chocolate brown. And I'm doing really light. I'm not going in dark and heavy. I'm just going in really light. And just hopefully this will all work out and then I can get out the door and look nice. I do have an office job. I am the receptionist. So I do need to look presentable. And I just keep going back in with that um, deep purple shade and just kind of building it up a little bit. It's looking like right in here, it's looking like it's not blended on camera, but it is totally blended in real life. So um, I'm going to take the shade uh, Gold Digger, and that is a gold. Oh, that's pretty. And I'm just going to put that on my lid. Now this shade is dry. I did not wet it. And look at that. Wow. I'm gonna kind of buff that out in the crease. Time for liner. 
I'm using the Unique Dip and Draw Liquid Eyeliner. And apparently doing a thicker line than I had anticipated. But that's okay. Now we just gotta try to match up the other eye. Just so the other eye looks somewhat the same. I'm going to use my Urban Decay 24-7 um, Glide-On Eyeliner in my waterline. Um, I'm really loving these Urban Decay eyeliners. They are um, really nice. I didn't think that... I was gonna like them as much as I do. I was, a, and I'm almost afraid that they're gonna um, take over my Avon Super Shock eyeliner. I'm going to pick up that deep um, purple shade called Chick, and I'm gonna run that underneath. Just a little bit. Inner corner highlight, I'm going in with the shade Sassy. It's um, more of a satin finish. I'm also going to put that very lightly on the brow bone. Um, we're going to go in with Pink Chocolate by Ulta. Actually, I'm just going to throw on some mascara and finish this look up real quick and then I've got to get out the door this is my um, epic mascara I know makeup faces can't get away from them Not trying to be too precise here. I'm not taking a lot of time. Really just trying to get the color on. Or should I say get the mascara on. This is the final look. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Be sure to like and subscribe before leaving. Thank you.